All right, students, it's Mr. Flick here. Uh, welcome to Exploring Technology, and I am here to kind of walk you through a little slideshow so that you know what the heck is happening in Exploring Technology class. So let's get into it. All right, so let's start off with how does this class work? Well, this class, Exploring Technology, is where you really are going to learn some great skills. Uh, Mr. Junior and I are convinced that you guys have these great skills hidden within you that are going to help make the world a better place. So that's really what we're focused on, is that we know you get a lot of entertainment time on your devices, but now it is time to do something great with all that technology that you have in your life. And let's, you know, go ahead and save the world together, okay? So that's what we're all about, which is why the entire class really focuses in on this Tech Saves the World Festival, and it'll happen at the beginning of each semester, usually about nine to 10 weeks into the semester, we have the festival. Now for the rest of the time, we still do really great and cool projects, but the main focus, your biggest, best, greatest project should be your entry into the Tech Saves the World Festival that we will have and we'll bring your parents to it and it'll be just a great time and we'll really be able to show off the greatest of the great. Okay, so in the semester, you're gonna make three projects, that's it but they're kind of complicated and kind of hard. So here's what the three projects are. Uh, number one, you're gonna make your Tech Saves the World entry project, and you're gonna work on that for about eight weeks. We want it to be complicated, we want it to be cool, we want it to be awesome, we want it to save the planet. Okay, so we want that, no pressure, right? Uh, number two, you're gonna make a project, number two is about digital literacy, things like, I don't know, digital citizenship, uh, how to honor copyrights online, um, things like how to write a proper email. There could be a lot of different things about digital literacy, basically online work. You know, make it cool, make it interesting, make it cool. And then project number three, one, two, three, and that is where you're going to do a really cool tech project that's going to demonstrate some life skills out there. So, I mean, honestly, if you wanted to make a whole documentary series on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that is a chef's kiss so good? I mean, we might consider a proposal like that, you know, because other kids could then learn how to make great peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Life skills, we got a whole list of all these different cool life skills, whether it's, you know, knowing the, about credit cards when you go off into university and stuff to basically, you know, just how to be a, a decent person, how to iron a shirt, you know, life skills. It could be a myriad of different things and you could use technology in interesting and cool ways for that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you write a song about ironing a shirt. I don't know. We never know how this is going to go, but those are the three skills. Uh, th sorry, the three projects. If you get done any of those projects early, let's say you've got eight weeks to do Tech Saves the World, but man, you're so good at it. You get it done like in six weeks and you're like, I got these extra two weeks on my hand. That's when you can go work on Genius Hour projects. These are really cool things like all the Legos we have in here. Uh, we got electronics kits for you. We got lots of stuff to keep you busy for those extra little bits of time that you might have. Really cool stuff that you're going to want to definitely take some photos of and uh, brag to your friends and family about. Really great stuff. So anyhow, that's basically what you're going to do during a semester. Three projects. If you get, get done anything early, you're going to work on some Genius Hour projects. All right, how do you do a tech project? It's really easy and it's only three simple steps. You start by part one, you plan it. So this is where you're gonna pick, are you gonna work as an individual? You're gonna work with a partner or are you gonna work as a team? A maximum of four people, okay? We're not gonna have a team of 11 people working on a movie or something, but you know, four, maybe five if you can, you know, make it work out. All right. So you're going to do that. And then you're going to decide, you know, what is the subject? Now, obviously for Tech Saves the World, it's going to be one of the UN SDGs. Uh, if it's digital literacy, you'll decide what subject in digital literacy you'll do it for, or a life skill, you know, which life skill are you going to do it? So you pick your subject and then you pick what technology you're going to use. Now, these three things might be mixed up in a different way. Maybe you're this person who just loves sea turtles. You already, you've always loved sea turtles. So you're like, oh man, this is, I, this is the subject. It's going to be sea turtles, which is really life underwater, which is, which number is that, Mr. Junior? Is that 14 or something? Anyhow, yeah, it's one of those ones, 14. And so you've already gone with the subject first, right? So I don't care if it's a subject first or, if, or it's like, no, I've got these three awesome friends and we've got to do a project together. Maybe you're going to pick your friendship group first, or maybe you're like, I just like working by myself. Whatever it might be, I don't care how you get to these three, 
maybe you're someone who's really good at video game design. You're like going, I don't care what the subject is or who I work with. I'm just going to make video games. It's going to be awesome. So you could do it that way too, but get together a good team because everybody, if, you know, if you decide to work on a team or as a partner, everybody's got to contribute equally to it to make uh, a good grade. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. So you're going to plan it and you're going to have to do some research, figure out which one of the SDGs, which digital literacy or which life skill. You're going to do some time here planning. But once you got all that figured out, you go to part two and you're going to input some information into chat GBT and it's going to create a learning plan for you. And it's going to tell you, hey, by week one, you should know these things. By week two, you should have this stuff done. By week three, it'll give you a whole plan and it'll tell you how to go find this information. It'll go tell you what you should search for on YouTube so you can learn tutorials. Maybe you got to learn how to animate or you got to learn how to code something or build a robot. It will tell you, it'll push you in the right direction of where you might need to go and you'll have a good plan for that, okay? And you'll want to follow that until you get your project basically all done, ready to turn in, which leads us to part three. You're going to turn it in for grading, maybe some feedback because it might come back to you. If it comes back to you, don't worry. Just fix the mistakes that we've pointed out and then turn it back in again. OK, um, and then also a, like a reflection. OK, so so you get it turned in and let's say you turn it in and you've got this great, I don't know, video game about sea turtles. OK, we love it. We don't even send it back for changes. We love it right off the bat. Like, great. Now what do I do? Well, you got to make a little slide. That's going to go and we'll have instructions for all this but basically a little slide it's going to go out in the hallway out there so when you know visitors and other students are walking down they're like oh look there's a video game about sea turtles maybe you put a qr code on there people can go find it whatever it's some type of promo slide that you put that we can put on the tv and then you're also going to record a little video reflection about how you learned um, new skills, what did you like most about it, uh, how are your partners or teammates on it, those type of things. We'll have that all, like I said, we'll have the instructions for it, but basically those are the three parts to doing a project. Pretty easy. You plan it, you then go to ChatGBT and you come up with a, uh, how to do it, you know, the plan to how to do it, and then you do it, turn it in, bada boom, bada bing, you're in, you're in the races here. Okay, how are projects graded? Well, Mr. Junior and I, we grade on three criteria. Boy, have you noticed three has been a trend in every one of these little situations? Yeah, three, 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 and three. You do three projects, there's three parts to a project, and now there's three criteria that we grade on, and that is creativity. Okay, did you just go and follow a tutorial? Because we need more than that. We need, we need to see you. We need to see your skills, not just some tutorial skills. So use tutorials. They're great to learn the skills, but then you got to apply them in a unique and interesting way. Okay. Complexity. If you're some student who's been going off to robot camp every summer for the last <clears throat> six summers, then of course we expect you to come into here, learn new skills and have something very complex. Now, if you're someone who's never touched a robot, now your complexity is going to be a different growth level, but we expect you to grow. Okay. Take your skills and grow. And that's what we really want to see, some complexity. Does your project demonstrate that you've got a high level of tech skills, okay? And then finally, consistency. <coughs> and that is, have you been coming to class and contributing to your team, to your partnership? If you're just an individual, have you been using your time wisely? Or have, you know, the teachers had to come around like, hey, we got to get at this, you know, tick tock. We only got four weeks left or something. We want you to take care of your pacing and be consistent about creating and learning and researching and getting it all done. And that's what you're graded on. If we see that you have done those three things on a regular basis, then of course you're going to get a great grade for the class. All right. Uh, just so you know, if you're new to this, this is all self-directed. So teachers, we're never going to stand up and give you a lesson on robotics. You're going to go find the tutorials or the websites. You're going to learn for yourself how to do the things that you want to do. And we know, already know you guys know how to do this because you do it all the time anyhow. So go out there and figure it out and find good lessons on you learning, whether it's robotics or animation or whatever you might want to do. Okay. And just a note about that. At the beginning, it might be a little frustrating, kind of like learning to ride a bike. You got the training wheels. You, your work, you know, let's say you're doing animating, it might look really kind of cheesy, a little cringy at first, but then you're going to get better at it. You're like, Ooh, look at this. Now I can make the banana unpeel and it looks like a real banana or something. And that would be great. So, and then eventually just like riding a bike, 
once you really get the skills, then you have the freedom, just like this mountain biker in this top of the shot here. They can go anywhere they want in the jungle, high speeds, they're safe, they're, you know, it's just great. And the same thing with your skills, okay? And this goes with learning sports or learning any skill. At first, you're gonna be a novice, but then if you keep at it, you're gonna be an expert and everybody around you is gonna go, ooh, this is really good. You've got some skills with a Z, skills with a Z. All right, um, you heard it right in a slide. I think it was like the third slide about you're gonna work either as an individual, a partner or a group. Now remember, you got three projects. So maybe the first project you work as an individual and then the second project you work with some gr a group of kids and then the th third project you go back to being just an individual. However you want to do it, you decide, it's up to you. And uh, we want to just respect the fact that some kids work better in a group, some kids work better on their own. That's, you're driving this bus, you do it however you want to do it. Um, I get this question a lot, can I repeat the tech skills from one project to another? And the answer is no, not in the same semester. So if you made a video game for Tech Saves the World, you can't make a video game for digital literacy or a video game for uh, life skills. You've got to learn a different thing. So maybe you do a video game for Tech Saves the World, you do an animation for digital literacy, and then you do a podcast for your uh, um, life skills one whole podcast about making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Wouldn't that be interesting? I would tune into that. Welcome to peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, episode number 42. Yeah, that would be good stuff. All right. So um, when you finish a project, okay, uh, you are, you know, everything's created and it's passed. And we said, you know, we're not worthy to be your teacher. You are doing great. Then you can move on to genius hour. Here's just a list of a few of the things. <clears throat> we got lots of things for you to do. The digital art, um, you know, action cameras. This is when kids learn how to DJ, you know, they're DJing, all that stuff. That happens during genius hour, little mini lessons that you can usually get done in one class period, but it's also where some really cool, fun stuff is. But uh, so, you know, if you finish early, we got stuff for you to do, some pretty fun stuff. So maybe you might want to finish a little bit early on some of these projects, okay? All right, so um, office hours, if you ever get stuck or something, come see us in class. But if you need more time, we would love to help you after school. Just make sure you do that in advance. Just send us an email saying, hey, can I work with you after school? Uh, Wednesdays, we're not available because we're in staff meetings uh, with uh, uh, the principal. So that is your introduction to exploring technology class. And we cannot wait to see what you build this semester. It should be very, very good. All right, congratulations. and. Uh, have at it. Good luck.